Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to set up shipping rates and shipping profiles in Shopify. Um, so to start, go ahead and head down to the bottom left hand corner and go to settings and then go to um, shipping and delivery on the left hand side menu. Now you'll see if you haven't set up any profiles, you'll see that's something similar to I, what I have. Um, you'll have the new profile button up here on the right um, and you'll have a create new profile link here under custom shipping rates. So go ahead and click on new profile or the create new profile button and give your profile a name. So I'll call this US shipping. Um, go ahead and add any of the products that you want this, um, this shipping uh, profile to be available on. So in this case, test physical product, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Um, and then go ahead and check the shipping origins. So in this case, it's the shop location. Um, this is just where I'm shipping from. I'm gonna keep this as is. And then here's where we get to the interesting part. Uh, we have shipping zones and shipping rates within those zones. So each zone represents an area of the world. Um, so you can choose a country, uh, or in this case, the United States, you can select um, by state, which ones you want. So since we're doing US shipping, let's go ahead and select all of the United States and press done. And then here you have no rates, um, but we have a zone. So I'm gonna add another zone, and this is going to be all international and not include United States, I'm gonna call this international zone, and we'll go ahead and save those two. Um, so now we have no rates for either. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a rate for the United States. Um, and then you have a couple options when it comes to adding rates. You can use carriers to calculate rates. Um, so you can map, you can choose a service level, um, which this is, uh, you can look more into shop or into service levels uh, with UPS, USPS, DHL, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video but you can choose the service levels that you'd like um, to map against, or you can choose um, the handling fee and, and some other options um, for depending on which carrier you want to use to determine the, the shipping rate. But in this case, I'm also, I'm gonna use a flat rate for this. Um, so I can just say for all of these, um, for the shipping rate standard, for example, so you can choose how many business days um, for that shipping rate, you can set a price. So I'm gonna say it's gonna cost $8 to everywhere in the United States for three to four business days um, and press done. Um, so now I have that one rate. Now I'm gonna add another rate that's express. So if you need it one to two business days, let's set this to $12, not $1,200, $12 um, and so on. You can also add conditional pricing um, based on weight and order price, minimum weight, maximum weight, et cetera. Um, you can explore these options a bit more, but it's, uh, again, a little bit beyond the scope of the video. Um, so now if we look at inter international, we can add a rate and this should allow um, for DHL as well in the um, carrier and app calculations. Um, but let's head back to, to the flat rate again and let's select just standard international for this one and do a $10 flat custom rate and we're gonna press done. So now if I go ahead and press save, depending on where the user is ordering from, uh, where the customer is ordering from, if for example, if the United States, um, the two rates that we set for the United States will come up. It says US shipping, but this is really all shipping. So I'll go ahead and change that to all shipping. Um, but if for the test physical product, um, if they're from the US, it'll show the US rates under the US zone here, these two rates um, for shipping. And if they're international, it'll show this rate. So I hope this video helped. Um, I know it's a little very brief overview. If you want some more information or more in depth on any of this, I'm gonna leave a comment down below. I can do a video on that. Um, but I wanted to give a, a brief overview um, so that you can dive into it yourself and kind of get some more information um, if exactly where you need to. So thanks for watching. I hope the video helped. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.